What you guys got another video does too many files on your desktop slow down your PC when booting up that's what we're going to be testing today before we do that just a quick word from today's video sponsor looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro keys head over to CD key sales use the links in the video description and then hit the buy now button use my promo code capital B capital R 09 apply that and submit your order head over to the activation window on Windows 10 change product key submit your product key that you just purchased click on activate and this will activate your version of windows 10 pro so in this test what we're going to do is test whether having too many files on your desktop will slow down your pc i have got 102 gigabytes of files stored on my desktop and we're going to be doing a cold boot uh, on this machine and see whether it actually slows down your pc so let me just quickly show you the folder here that I have on my desktop. And this is 102 gigabytes of data. Now, maybe in older operating systems, this might have been the case where you would get slower uh, boot up times by having loads of stuff stored on your desktop. And maybe because the operating system was coded different, or maybe uh, you had a mechanical drive and it might have slowed up the boot process. But we've got modern day NVMe drives and SSDs and uh, also much faster hardware so here we have my desktop computer i have 102 gigabytes of files on the desktop i'm going to do a cold boot and what we'll do is i'll power it on and start the timer at the same time here so there might be a slight delay of me pushing a button and the timer on my phone so we'll allow a second for delay you can see here uh, the keyboard is now starting to light up we've got the timer ticking down on the bottom of the screen there and you can now see we have display on the desktop what i'm going to do is allow this to fully load up so i'm not going to stop the timer as soon as we see the desktop like here i'm going to let it load in there's a few more items that need to load in in the bottom right hand corner i'm going to let these fully load in and now we'll stop it right on the time where all that stuff has loaded in so you can see it's starting to load in here and we can now click on stop and we have 43 seconds that was with all of that stuff on my desktop now i've hidden all my desktop files because i've got stuff on there which i don't wish you to see but of course uh, there is uh, that folder on there which has 102 gigabytes of data on it here is all those files what i'm going to do here now is i'm going to remove all of these apart from one of them which is the windows iso which i want to keep and that will remove all of these files Let's go ahead and delete all of these files. And we will then try the same process, uh, a cold boot, and we'll see what happens uh, with the boot up times and see if we have any difference. So let me know in the comment section below whether you think it does slow down your PC in the modern day to have all that stuff on your desktop. I've removed all these files from my desktop now. It's deleted all of those. I'm going to shut down the PC and we'll start from a cold boot again. Now, I don't think there will be any difference, but we'll go for a cold boot here. So here we go. I'm going to push the button and we'll go over to the start on here. I'm trying to do both at once so we don't have any delay. And there we go. We've got the timer going now. So all we need to do now is let this boot up. Now, what does this prove? It just means that there's a lot of stuff on the Internet that is misleading or old myths about what happens to your computer if you do certain things. And I'm just sort of trying to uh, see whether these are true or not. So this is a pretty straightforward test. We have no files on our desktop now, apart from what was there before. So 102 gigabytes has been deleted. And you can see here, I'm letting the startup areas load up here. And I can see exactly when the startup area is loaded. So here we have the timer nearly finished now. There we go. And it's within a second. So we can safely say that there's no difference really between having 100 odd uh, gigabytes of data stored on your desktop compared to having no data stored on your desktop. And the discrepancies between me pushing the start button and the phone could be a slight uh, difference so i would say that they're pretty much equal and there's not much difference in it now this is a pretty basic test but what it tells me is that in 2021 and modern day computers there's no real uh, difference between having 100 gigabytes of data on your desktop to having no data on your desktop there's no real difference in speed on boot up 
And if there is, it's so negligible, it's not even worth worrying about. So in modern day computers, it doesn't really affect it having data stored on your desktop. Now, many years ago, the story might have been different when we was using mechanical drives and older hardware. And of course, we was using uh, different operating systems back then. So this is Windows 11 and it doesn't affect it in any way, shape or form. Anyway, I hope this one's been some sort of use to you. It's a bit of a myth buster, really, where you see a lot of people posting up stuff on the Internet saying that it slows down your PC. I just wanted to have a little uh, test with this myself in the modern day to see whether it actually does anything to your computer. So I guess we can put this one to bed and say that it doesn't affect the PC anymore. If you want to see more tests like these, then let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.